Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. Today, I want to talk about the Synergy S3 Cerakote Olympic Barbell, which you see right here. I've been getting a lot of questions on it since I first posted on Instagram about a week and a half back. And I think that's easy to see why. You don't see very many bright red barbells, let alone Cerakote versions of it, especially for the price that Synergy charges for this. So I wanted to give you guys a review as a power lifter. And I say that because if you take a look at this barbell and the specs behind it, I would really classify this as an Olympic weightlifting bar. So the diameter on this is 28 millimeters, it's 190K tensile strength, which is about the average for weightlifting bars. When you take a look at the actual knurling, it's not very aggressive. It's also lacking a center knurl, which is important for weightlifting because when you spend a lot of time in a front rack position, you don't want that aggressive knurl digging into your collarbone. Surprisingly, it does have powerlifting knurl marks, but obviously it has weightlifting knurl marks as well. And perhaps one of the most interesting features on it is in the sleeves, it actually uses bearings instead of bushings. Now, I don't want to get too into the differences between these in this video, but the general rule of thumb is for weightlifting, you want bearings because it allows for less friction and smoother spins, and it's really great for the faster lifts versus bushings, which can still provide some great spins, but it's geared more towards slower lifting like myself. So my first bearing bar that I've owned, also the first Cerakote barbell I've owned. I do own the Rogue Cerakote pull-up bar, and I have used Cerakote bars in the past. So that is the bar in general. One of the things I can't really understate or undersell this on is the fact that it's a bargain bar, but it came probably with the best packaging that I've ever seen for any barbell that I've owned, including some of my Kabuki bars, which retail for about three times as much as this particular one does. So when it came, it came in its normal cardboard tube as all bars do. But in this case, it used screws to attach a very heavy and thick end cap, which was nice to see because I'm used to dealing with a bunch of staples, a bunch of tape, and a bunch of thin plastic end caps, which end up breaking either in shipping or trying to take the bar out of the packaging itself. So with this one, four screws per side, a very thick, well-secured end cap, and it actually took me about five minutes to get the bar out, as opposed to literally usually taking around 20 minutes. And anyone who's had to pry staples or tape or those cheesy little end caps off or try to peel the barbell, almost like some of the cinnamon rolls, getting a little off track here, you know it can take a lot of time to do that, and it's a very frustrating experience. This was the easiest bar to unpack, and again, the most nicely packaged, because once you open it, you had it in a bag, which is supposed to help fight corrosion and rust. And I say that because I've also had barbells that show up to me rusted already, even though they're supposedly brand new. Chances are they were sitting in a warehouse somewhere or in transit, they were exposed to conditions that led to some of those issues. And then they also pack it up with some straps and some wraps as cushion, but also as free gifts. So very nice packaging, well done, very impressed. I wish more companies would take that approach with the screws. It's probably a little bit more expensive for them to ship it, but I would only assume by a couple of cents, if any, at all. So definitely props to you, Synergy, on the way you package your bars. Now, in terms of use and the pros about this bar, I gotta be honest, I was a little hesitant at first. I didn't think this bar would work out well for my type of training. Again, squatting, benching, and deadlifting. Yet, I was pretty pleasantly surprised. I was able to do all of those lifting techniques with it with some fairly moderate weight outside of bench press because my bench is garbage, as you guys know. But it held up to heavy squats, heavy deadlifts without much issue. And I could definitely see someone using this as a full-time bar if they like to follow a lot of different disciplines. I say that because if you're simply focused on powerlifting like I am, I don't think this is the best bar for you. And that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, because this is a thinner diameter bar at 28 millimeters, and most power bars are usually 29 millimeters, might sound like a small difference and it is in theory, but in application, that one millimeter does make a big difference. When you're walking out heavy squats or doing heavy deadlifts, you will notice a much more bend and whip to the bar than you would normally. And this can be a little bit off-putting, especially on squats. And I assume if you bench enough that it would be a problem as well, but I will never find out because poverty bench. Now on deadlift, that might not necessarily be a bad thing for some people. I personally prefer to pull on a stiff or power bar, but if you pull on a deadlift bar, which is 27 millimeters or even thinner than this one, then you'll be right at home with this one. And again, the fact that it doesn't have center knurling is a benefit for deadlifts. But for me on squats, it's a big negative because in my low bar position, I really depend on that center knurling to help really grind that bar into my back. And the fact that this doesn't have it and the fact that the Cerakote on this is actually more of a glossy finish as opposed to some of the Rogue bars I've used, which are more of a matte finish, I find this to be pretty slick and I was really worried about the bar slipping off my back. Now I could use one of my A7 bar grip shirts like I did on one of my training days to kind of offset that, 
but a lot of people aren't going to want to spend 35 to 36 dollars on a bar grip shirt just to use a barbell that they just purchased so take that for what it's worth but otherwise it was a fairly decent bar and i would recommend it if you're in the market for a bar that can kind of do it all but isn't geared specifically towards powerlifting. And I really say that when you consider the price of this barbell, which is retailed for $260. When you take a look at the market for Cerakote bars, I believe this is probably one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest and most affordable bar out there. For comparison's sake, the most closest bar spec-wise from Rogue retails for $295, and that's their Olympic training bar. However, that's not a Cerakote version and does not have bearings in the sleeves. If you want a Cerakote version of a Rogue bar, I think the cheapest is $325 for their Ohio bar, which in case is 28 and a half millimeters, and again has bushings and not bearings. So for $260 for a Cerakote bar, this one is a very good deal. Now, one of the things I always like to do is I take a look at shipping because in some cases, some of the non-name manufacturers that we're really familiar with will really get you when it comes to shipping costs. And I've paid $50 to $60 to ship barbells and it's understandable, they're heavy pieces of equipment and sometimes they're coming across the country or in some cases overseas for some of you out there. So I wanted to see what they would charge and I had it in my mind that they would probably be one of the higher cost options out there. However, I went on their website and typed in my information and actually saw that I qualified for free shipping, which is really nice. So $260 without shipping. What's even more nice, but I don't know if this is gonna continue, is they're running a 15% off sale right now. I got a pop-up when I was doing it and said there's a 15% off coupon, which if it's still available, I'll put it in the description box below. But it knocked the price of this bar down to $221. And I think that price range in general at full price is good enough. And at $221, if you're in the market for an all-around Cerakote bar to kind of do a little bit of everything, this is really something you should consider especially if you just want to get into the Cerakote game or if you're interested in picking up weightlifting and want a weightlifting specific bar because your power bar might not really be fit for you or just like buying a bunch of equipment like I do, this could be a very attractive option. Not to mention, speaking of attractive, it comes in multiple different colors. So this is the red and black version. There's a blue and black, a gray and black, and a pink and black as well. So you really have some choices on there. And for the price point and what you get, I really think you guys should probably consider this. So hopefully that helps answer some questions. If you have other ones, let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next video.